Well, what we need to do in this country is build, build for the future, build the big infrastructure we need if we're going to go on providing jobs and opportunities in Britain. And that means, I think, trying to get these decisions out of the day-to-day -day political argument and have a, a big independent view that everyone can sign up to. And Andrew Adonis uh, has stopped being a Labour peer. He was a Labour transport secretary. He's going to be an independent peer, chairing this independent commission that will give us impartial advice. And then we can get on and do what this country needs to do, which is get building. Yes, but Chancellor, um, there's another name coming into my head here, uh, Howard Davis. Remember him? He was the guy that, you know, he had the consultation about Heathrow Airport and I and many other people have interviewed him on this programme with his findings. And he said, Heathrow, good idea. What did you do about that? Kicked it into touch, didn't you? Well, that's actually, I think it's a very good example. Uh, Howard Davis did a report very recently on the options for where a new runway should be in the southeast uh, of England. And he has forced the political parties to look at that report and make a decision. So we've, we've ended the sort of endless debate about all the different possible locations it could be. And it's come down to some very simple choices that this independent Howard Davis Commission has given us. I think that's not a bad model for the kind of decisions we want to see taken in the future, which is independent advice, very clear set of options. You know, here I am in the Manchester. You know, let's have a high-speed railway line between Manchester and Leeds across the Pennines yes. to make the uh -huh. Northern Powerhouse yes. connected up. Let's see the options from the independent yes. report so we don't have politicians arguing for 20 years about where but, the line should go. But so, so to avoid arguing, do you just ignore them, as in Davis's case? No, no, we're not ignoring Davis. We are at the moment, uh, you know, and we've got You're to go through all the legal the processes. As, no, no, there are all these legal processes which you well know that if we did not follow, we'd be straight in the court by, okay. uh, from those who don't want to see, see things built. Okay, we're well, absolutely look. going to make a decision. But it's a great example of having uh, that independent advice forcing the politicians to make a decision. And it comes to a bigger point as for our country. You know, are um, we going to be bold about the future? Are we going to build? Are we going to make sure our banking system works for people? Are we going to live within our means as a country? These are the decisions that we need to take if we're going to go on delivering security for working people and higher living yeah. standards. OK, if I could just be mischievous with you, Chancellor, then. I mean, you say you're taking it out of the political agenda. Other people may look at you and say, you're so not. You have stolen uh, Adonis to get right up Jeremy Corbyn's nose and to weaken him. No, uh, Andrew Donis is someone who, even though he was a Labour cabinet minister, actually did a lot to try and build consensus on things like the High Speed 2 uh, project and the Crossrail project, which is being built in London at the moment. Uh, and I in, was able to finish the job that he started on something like Crossrail. So I think he's a really good person to do this job. Uh, and I think it shows you know, general confidence uh, that the country's heading in the right direction and we've got the right arrangements as a country to make these decisions, that he wants to come and work with us uh, as chair of this new independent body. And by the way, he is starting work today. That work starts right now. We're not waiting time to, to uh, set up the office and you know, get the computers in. And We're all ready to go yeah. and the work starts today. Uh, OK, that starts today. Why Lloyds? We're just getting breaking news on Lloyds today, and you say you're going to make £2 billion worth of shares available to the public. Why does that start today? Why are you waiting until next year to do that one? Well, we've got a big task here, which is to finally get the British government out of owning great chunks of our banking system. And we've made a lot of progress with Lloyds, but this final chunk, this final sale, will be the biggest privatisation in over 20 years. And I don't want all of those shares to go to city institutions. I want them to go to members of the public, uh, people watching this programme and others. And so our offer is this. Uh, buy Lloyd's shares. Uh, we'll favour small investors. We'll favour those who uh, hold the shares for a long time. You'll get a discount and we'll help create that share-owning democracy that we want to see in this country. Yeah. Uh, and the process of getting the paperwork ready, making sure the prospectus is there. Yeah takes a, a little bit of time because those are the rules, but the shares will be coming on sale very soon. And as of now, there is a website available where people can register on the .gov uh, website to uh, make sure they're kept informed and that they can get in there and get these shares with the discount. Okay.